What's up guys, Siobhan here back with a brand new video and today we'll be looking at the top 10 tweaks for this week. So we have an awesome list of tweaks here to show you guys. Hope you like my setup that's going on here, nothing too crazy. My lock screen and also my home screen wallpaper could be found down below in the links in the description guys. Remember if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button or turn on post notifications. If you have any questions, be sure to shoot me up. No, not literally shoot me up, but be sure to hit me up on Twitter at it's underscore Chevy. But without any further ado, let's jump into the video. The first tweak we have here is called weather lock and this displays an animated weather wallpaper on the lock screen. There has been no noticeable effect on the battery life for me using it and this is all it does. It adds that cool weather animation on your lock screen. So if you go into the weather application right here, you could see that this is the animation we get. So for example, if I was in Vancouver, well all of them are gloomy, Cupertino looks a little bit a different color so if we go to the lock screen it just shows us the animation of our current location so it's pretty cool next up we have confer 2 for notifications and our status bar so confer's main function is to declutter all of the springboard by removing all the notification badges or just say all your notifications live right here by just a simple tap on your status bar so you see that badge icon you see an icon app icon and a little badge on it if you touch that it brings up this um panel right here so you could swipe across for example if you swipe down on snapchat right here it shows that there are no new notifications if i swipe across like this it just changes onto the application so if i want to clear out all of the app store notifications I swipe straight up like that swipe up on it see it's cleared youtube swipe up it's cleared it's pretty cool because you don't have to like scroll through all your icons just to see which app has a notification on it you just tap up here in the status bar and then you'll find all of the application that's waiting for a pending response next up we have quick now playing so this is a awesome tweak that lets you know what's currently playing really quick so if you go into the tweaks you need to set and activate on gesture so let me just find the, the, the tweak right here a, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, H. All right, let me just go into activator. Let me go to anywhere and I'm gonna set an activator gesture for a quick now plane. So let's just use, huh. Let's use shake device. Quick now plane. Just quick now plane. So now for example, say I'm playing a song. Let me go into my music application. And let's play a song so we have cushion cologne here by baker steez so normally you'd have to swipe up scroll here just to see what song is playing but if no i shake my device i get this notification that says baker steez cushion cologne that's what's playing pretty cool i'm not sure if it would be helpful for everyone because you could just as i said before easily swipe up Control sent and you see what song is playing or you could just shake whatever activator gesture you use it will work Pretty cool tweak definitely check it out Next up we have my theme and my theme is called fix iOS 10 so if you go into anemone you'll need anemone of course if you go into anemone I'll show you the, the, the theme that I'm using it's right here so you can see I only have on two toggles I have on the fix iOS 10 fix no theme icons and fix iOS 10. Next up we have usage bar X. Usage bar X is a simple tweak for like the somewhat intrusive tether maps usage bar so if you're doing like a voiceover or anything or you're in Google Maps let me just show you the options we could choose from. So we could use a slim bar, we could use hide the usage bar or we could have a transparent usage bar you think down below. Next up guys, we have enhanced switcher close. So if I go into my switcher right here, and just close that up, you can see that if I pull it down a little bit, you see that launch in green, you have dismiss switcher. Then if I pull it up here, you have relaunch close. So let me just launch it. Boom, it launches the tweak. It launches the app. If I pull it down again, 
I could dismiss the switcher and go back into the previous app that I was. Now if I pull it up here, I can relaunch the app completely. So that's like closing it and relaunching it again. If I go back here, we have another option of just closing it just like that. So we have up to four options we could choose from just by swiping up and down on your switcher cards. Pretty cool tweak, it's called Enhanced Switcher Close. Next up, we have Springtomize 4, and Springtomize 4 is an all-round iPhone customizer, just like Hide Me X, but it has been around for some time now, more time than Hide Me X, so I think everyone just respects this tweet more. It does the same thing as Hide Me X, and I've heard that Hide Me X does more, but Springtomize 4 is a GOAT. So let me just show you guys what this can do in real time. So we can choose the animations of our phone. I'll not play around with that. We can play around the um, app switcher. So I'm just changing the percentage to 60%. Now my app switchers look like a midget. Pretty cool. As I said before, you can do a lot of things with it. Change it to 150. My app switcher is just a mess right now. I don't know. It's just completely crazy. Choose 80%. It looks like that. Pretty small. Let's just choose 90 and then we have the standard 100 so as you can see it does not require a respring which is definitely a game changer for a control center what can we do we can disable the control center we can get a custom background color let's just go for blue so if i swipe up it's supposed to be blue and green as you can see right there but if you have dark mode on of course it's not gonna show so keep that in mind so that was Springtomize 4. As I said before, you have a lot of things you can play around with in Springtomize 4. That's just the beginning, guys. Like, it doesn't end there. It's a complete all-around uh, manipulation of tweaks and all of the phone settings with Springtomize 4. You can change animation, Apple switcher, control center, docs, folders, icons, lock screen, notifications, and the pages, status bar. It just tons of fun to just play around with this if there was one tweak i was supposed to get this would be the one tweak because it does everything next up we have chirp and chirp is a way of motivating you every day through quotes on your lock screen so you need the twitter app of course so i'm just get my twitter app i'm gonna sign in if i'm not already signed in just to show you guys what this looks like so here it is Here's my Twitter app and everything. Now, if I go to my lock screen, I'm supposed to see a quote on my lock screen, but for some strange reason, it's not there. And I don't think there's any settings to configure for chirp because I didn't see a chirp tweak, but let me just go back and check. Yep, no chirp tweak but it has worked for many people so if it does work for you let me, let me know down below in the comment section chirp just lets you it's a very subtle tweak and you must be signed into a twitter account in the settings panel and then the quotes will be shown on your lock screen motivational quotes every day you wake up in the morning you'll see a brand new quote so let me know what you guys think about chirp it's pretty cool and it's also free next up we have Fantasus, it's a colorful weather widget. So if I go into eye widgets right here, you have you must have eye widgets. Hold down. Here's Fantasus. Boom. Just like that. Colorful eye weather widget right there. It said Fateville scattered shows. I'm not in Fateville. I don't know what it's talking about, but it looks pretty cool. Obviously, you could change the locations within eye widgets. So if you hold it down right here, go to Fantasus. Boom, you could change the WOEID to your current location and you could change whenever the weather refreshes. You could change it from 24 hour time, you could change the units as well. Pretty cool tweak, definitely check it out. It's free inside of Cydia. Last but not least, we have Brightify. Brightify is a cool tweak for Spotify that changes the whole dark Spotify theme to a light look and feel so normally spotify is known for its dark theme so lightify brings the angels to spotify so if you go into the settings right here and you go to brightify here we can see enable brightify then we go to spotify is it bright no why isn't spotify bright i have no idea i don't know sometimes this tweak doesn't work for me but it works for everybody else. Why? 
I don't know. Let me just go into settings just to see if I have Eclipse on for Spotify. If not, I don't know what's wrong with my phone. So, Eclipse 4. Scroll down. Let's look for enabled applications. Let's see if Spotify is enabled. No. So why isn't my Spotify bright? I have no clue. But yeah, that wraps up this video guys. If you enjoyed it, please let me know down below in the comment section. Um since lately I'm not feeling myself with these jailbreak tweet videos. So hopefully I get back into my groove. I just need some motivation from you guys. So if you appreciate the videos Please just drop a like on the video so I know that you appreciate them. If not, I will just stick to making like just tech related videos and maybe just the perfect jailbreak setups every Friday. So remember if you want to send in your perfect jailbreak in iPhone setup, please send them to Chevron Summon Setup. No, Chevron Setups at gmail.com. And always guys remember if you just want to let me continue this series, just show the appreciation by liking this video. Let's try and hit five hundred likes. I'm sure we can do it. I have over 8,000 subscribers. So if you're a real G, drop a like on the video right now, guys. If you made it this far, hashtag serial down below in the comment section. And I love you guys. Always remember this. Love, peace, and tweaks. Signing out.